For this next unit, we're going to work on simplifying expressions. And before we get very far, it's nice to make sure that we're all using the same vocabulary and that we know what the terms are that we're working with. Today, some of the expressions that we're going to be working on simplifying are going to have something called radicals in them. So what is it that is a radical? A radical a symbol or sign looks like this. And you may have heard that called a square root symbol, and that's great, and I'll use that term all the time as well. Um, but this is, that particular symbol is a radical sign. Uh, the reason that we use the term radical is it's a little bit more general. So for example, this is a square root. This is a cubed root, where we have a small three in front of it. We can also have fourth roots. And, um, but a lot of these all behave very similarly. And so anytime that we're using anything of this family where we have this little funky symbol here, what we're talking about is we're talking about radicals. So sometimes I'll call this radical, sometimes I will um, refer to it as a square root or a cubed root or a fourth root if I wanna be a little bit more specific, but they're all part of the same family. Um, we With square root, it's a two, but we, off, we usually just leave that out because that one is so super common. And in fact, that's the one that we'll see the very most of as we continue on with our work here in the next little while. Um, sometimes we're going to be working with things that are called expressions. And you can see that in the title of our, um, of our topic lesson for this time. So what is an expression? An expression is very simply, it is a constant or a variable. or it's a combination of constants and variables. Uh, we can also have uh, operate, operation symbols in an expression. Uh, so what does that mean? Uh, for the most part, we're talking about plus, minus, times, divide. Um, those are our basic operations. And grouping symbols are also okay, such as parentheses. parentheses, brackets, or whatever. So constants, variables, so numbers and variables are combinations of those that we can add, subtract, multiply, divide, uh, group things together. We can have radicals in there. All of those things will make up an expression. What's really important in terms of talking about things here is that there's no equal sign. We'll get into equations later on in the year. Um, however, it, when we're talking about an expression, it's just a group of things together that we would want to work with and do. So I've got the term variable in there. So what is it that a variable is? Um, a variable is just a symbol that represents a specific quantity that can vary. Now normally when we talk about variables, we use letters to represent that. So X of course is the most common. We see X, Y, Z, we can use A, B, C. Um, any of those, any letter can be used to represent a variable. Um, the last thing that we're gonna be working with and talking about in this particular unit is evaluating things. So what does it mean to evaluate an expression? Well, expressions have variables in them and evaluating or can have variables in them. And we evaluate an expression when we are able to um, substitute numbers in for each variable. And get a single number result. So if I ask you to evaluate an expression, what I want you to do is get a number that would represent what that uh, particular expression is talking about. So with some vocabulary behind us, let's go ahead and look at some different types of expressions. And we're going to start with radical expressions and then add in variables along the way.